Dear friends, welcome to the spoken tutorial on numerical interpolation. At the end of this tutorial, you will learn how to develop Scilab code for different numerical interpolation algorithms. Calculate new value of function from given data points. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu 12.04 as the operating system and Scilab 5.3.3 version. To practice this tutorial, a learner should have basic knowledge of Scilab and should know numerical interpolation. To learn Scilab, please refer to the relevant tutorials available on the Spoken Tutorial website. Numerical interpolation is a method of constructing new data points within the range of a discrete set of known data points. We can solve interpolation problems using numerical methods. In Lagrange interpolation, we pass a polynomial of degree n-1 through n points. Then we find the unique n-order polynomial y of x which interpolates the data samples. We are given the natural logarithm values for 9, 9.5 and 11. We have to find the value of natural logarithm of 9.2. Let us solve this problem using Lagrange interpolation method. Let us look at the code for Lagrange interpolation. We define the function Lagrange with arguments x0, x, f and n. x0 is the unknown interpolation point. x is the vector containing the data points, f is the vector containing the values of the function at corresponding data points, and n is the order of the interpolating polynomial. We use n to initialize m and vector n. The order of the interpolating polynomial determines the number of nodes created. Then we apply Lagrange interpolation formula to find the value of the numerator and denominator. Then we divide the numerator and denominator to get the value of L. We use L to find the value of the function Y at the given data point. Finally, we display the value of L and F of X. Let us save and execute the file. Switch to Scilab console to solve the example problem. Let us define the data points vector. On the console type, x equal to open square bracket 9.0 comma 9.5 comma 11.0 close square bracket. Press enter. Then type f equal to open square bracket 2.1972 comma 2.2513 comma 2.3979 close square bracket press enter then type x0 equal to 9.2 press enter let us use a quadratic polynomial interpolating polynomial type n equal to 2 Press enter. To call the function type y equal to Lagrange open parenthesis x0 comma x comma f comma n close parenthesis. Press enter. The value of the function y at x equal to 9.2 is displayed. Let us look at Newton's divided difference method. In this method, divided differences recursive method is used. It uses lesser number of computation than Lagrange method. In spite of this, the same interpolating polynomial as in Lagrange method is generated. Let us solve this example using divided difference method. We are given the data points and the corresponding values of the function at those data points. 
we have to find the value of the function at x equal to 3. Let us look at the code for Newton divided difference method. Open the file Newton underscore divided dot sci on Scilab editor. We define the function Newton underscore divided with arguments x, f and x0. x is a vector containing the data points, f is the corresponding function value and x0 is the unknown interpolation point. We find the length of vector and then equate it to n. The first value of vector is equated to a of 1. Then we apply divided difference algorithm and compute the divided difference table. Then we find the coefficient list of the Newton polynomial. We sum the coefficient list to find the value of the function at given data point. Save and execute the file Newton underscore divided dot sci. Switch to Scilab console. Clear the screen by typing CLC. Press enter. Let us enter the data points vector. Type x equal to open square bracket 2 comma 2.5 comma 3.25 comma 4 close square bracket. Press enter. Then type values of the function. f equal to open square bracket 0 0.5 comma 0 0.4 comma 0 0.3 0 0.077 comma 0 0.25 close square bracket. Press enter. Type x0 equal to 3. Press enter. Then call the function by typing ip equal to Newton underscore divided open parenthesis x comma f comma x0 close parenthesis. Press enter. The value of y at x equal to 3 is shown. Let us summarize this tutorial. In this tutorial, we have learned to develop Scilab code for interpolation methods. We have also learned to find the value of a function at new data point. Solve this problem on your own using Lagrange method and Newton's divided difference method. Watch the video available at the link shown below. It summarizes the spoken tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial Project team conducts workshops using Spoken Tutorials, gives certificates to those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to contact at spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher Project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at the link shown below. This is Ashwini Patil signing off. Thank you for joining.